Hello, uh, my name is Mary Robinson. I live in Flatwell Heath, um, a little village in Buckinghamshire, but I was born in Glasgow. Um, during the lockdown, like most people, I've mainly missed my family and friends, in particular um, my five grandchildren. But I've missed the safety and security of knowing that they were there for me and I for them. Um, I'm isolated with my husband, but it's quite scary to think that even if one of us was taken to hospital, the other couldn't go with them. Um, that's something that would never, it's never been the case. Um, we've been married 50 years. Um, that, that's actually quite frightening. Um, but I've learned a lot about society uh, during the lockdown, most of it for the good. Sadly, uh, there are always people who will target the vulnerable and have any excuse, and this has given them a perfect one. But there has been so many heartwarming moments that there's just far too many to actually um, list them all. But some examples are Tom Moore, um, age 99, who actually earned £37 million pounds, uh, for the NHS by walking around his garden. Um, and uh, there has been uh, police outside um, the local hospital uh, where I live and they were outside clapping for the NHS. There has been children uh, putting little rainbows of hope um, in their front windows. Um, a GoFundMe campaign which has been delivering uh, little surprises uh, to the elderly. Um, and leaflets being put through people's doors uh, offering help people that we didn't even know, um, such a lot of kindness. Um, the government's responses have been a bit varied. They did actually um, put quite a bit of money aside for um, local businesses and um, big and small, um, and uh, also for the uh, self-employed, um, and for people generally who were having a little bit more trouble financially um, during this crisis. So there was a lot of money set to one side uh, for all these things. Um, but they've been very, very slow uh, to actually get going on things like lockdown. We actually had the advantage over Italy. This is just my opinion. But we had the advantage over Italy um, and that we knew what was happening. And I think if we had locked down in February when all that was going on, got testing, tracking and tracing um, in place um, a lot more quickly, stockpiled on PPE and made sure that we accepted all the uh, responses from British firms who were offering it. Um, some of you didn't get a reply, um, I don't know why. Um, but all of these things I think would have saved a lot of lives. I mean, even the Prime Minister um, got COVID-19 and was in intensive care. But thank goodness he's, he, he recovered. Um, but just getting going and everything an awful lot quicker, I think, would have saved countless number of lives um, in the NHS, the care homes and in the wider community. But as I said, that's just what I think. There has been so many heroes of lockdown that I just couldn't possibly begin to mention all of them. The NHS staff, but without them, goodness knows what we would have done. Um, some of them even moved out of their family homes um, in order to make sure that they didn't bring the virus home to their loved ones. Um, there has been the supermarket staff, the delivery drivers, the pharmacists, um, all of these we just couldn't manage without them. Um, and obviously Tom Moore that I mentioned before, another lady called Margaret Payne, who earned a lot of money for the NHS by climbing her stairs. Oh, she was age 99. Um, so many heroes and so much kindness. Um, but, you know, is this going to change the world that we live in? I I'm not sure. I really would hope so. Um, we've had time to sit down, appreciate the positive things in life. Going for a walk is, is absolutely wonderful in the countryside. There's been homeless people off the streets for the first time, um, cleaner air, less pollution, a greener, healthier lifestyle. Um, I just hope that we appreciate family and friends and the kindness of total strangers. People talk about a new normal. Um, I don't know. Um, history tells us that people don't always um, learn from their mistakes. Just hope and pray that in this case that this is not what happens. Um, and that we don't 
go back to our normal busy lives, rushing around um, and undoing all the good that has been done during the lockdown because there has been lots of it. Oh, how did I actually cope? Um, well, to begin with, I thought there is absolutely no way that um, I'm going to actually fill my days. But it is actually quite surprising. Um, to begin with, I started phoning people that I knew who lived alone, sending them little messages and videos, and then I realised how much they appreciated it, so I, I carried on doing that. Went for a long walk each day. Fortunately, I live in the countryside. Like many people, I discovered Zoom, so regularly had family quizzes, games with friends, book club meetings, keep fit sessions, and I Zoomed regularly with my grandchildren. I even managed to attend my um, granddaughter, she lives in Manchester, her flute concert uh, through Zoom, and uh, all of the family um, were there, and that was lovely. Doing the gardening and housework has kept me pretty busy, clearing out a lot of cupboards that badly need it. Um, it takes me ages even disinfecting the shopping when it arrives. Um, I just make a list and then I decide what I'm going to do each day. And uh, don't always stick to it, but at least I have a plan for the day, um, something to, to actually think about, which I think is actually important. Um, <clears throat> the first thing I'm going to do when lockdown ends is to give my grandchildren the biggest hug. I have warned them. Uh, uh, they said they don't mind, but we'll actually see when the time comes. Um, and also, obviously, my family and friends, and, and maybe even total strangers that I see in the streets. I mean, why not? <laughs> my message to future generations is to appreciate each and every day. Life can change so suddenly and it is very, very short. Appreciate your family and friends and make sure that they know it. Look after nature and wildlife and try to understand the danger of pollution and take action where you can. Find peace in your life. In the words of the poem, God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you. Bye. Bye.